In Parashat Baal Adcha, we learn about the ill effects of complaining. Complaining can be positive, we can share feedback, and it can be instructive. At times, however, it can end up being kvetching and something very negative. How do we know the difference? So Am Yisrael had just left Har Sinai, and now they're on their way through their travels in the desert. The first thing they do is they complain. It says, Am kimit oninim ra Hashem. They complained in Hashem's ears. Hashem was not happy about that. Hashem sent fire, and, and Moshe had to intercede on behalf of the nation. Hashem, uh, it says the fire of Atishka Ha'esh, the fire uh, subsided, and Am Yisrael was spared. Now, Hashem was upset with their with their feedback here, and Rashi says it's because these were evildoers, these were wicked people, and they were looking for an excuse to rebel against Hashem after Har Sinai. That's one interpretation. Rabbi Shlomo Riskin offers another interpretation to be very helpful for us. Sometimes we find ourselves complaining, not really about what we're worried about, but because something deeper is wrong. Mit Onanim, Rabbi Riskin explains, can come from the language of Ane Ana, which appears in the book of Malachim, book of Kings. The language that's used there is here and there, Ane Ana, back and forth through different locations. Am Yisrael had been displaced from Har Sinai. There they knew what their purpose was. They knew what their mission was, but now they're on their way. They're on their path. They lost focus, they lost understanding of their mission and their purpose. This led them to become to start complaining. And Hashem was upset because that complaining wasn't coming from a real place. It was coming from a lack of inspiration and passion and connection to what they were doing. So they were starting to complain about other things as well. And that's something we should be careful for in our lives. Sometimes we end up complaining about all kinds of things and fetching, but that's not really what's bothering us. It's something much deeper. And if we can solve that deeper cause of the complaining, which is a lack of passion, lack of connection in our lives, lack of purpose, we can avoid a lot of unnecessary spreading of negativity. This spreading of negativity is hinted to, I think, in the verse as well. Why were they punished with fire? It's not just that this fire can consume us and become very negative when we start complaining. It can spread to other people like a wildfire. And the negativity can spread and can cause others to be negative as well. We have to be very careful of that. In order to heal that, we have to get to the root of why we're complaining, which is sometimes a lack of mission and purpose. There's a beautiful midrash which says, why did the Torah use the language Vatishka Ha'esh, the fire was literally consumed or sunk into the ground? The midrash says that that fire ended up emerging and, and manifesting at different times of Jewish history when there were complaints, like in the time of Korach. Perhaps that hints to the ne negative effects of kvetching or complaining from a, from a negative place. It ends up spreading to other people and, to, and, and makes other people start complaining as well. So when we find ourselves complaining a lot, we should focus on why are, why are we sharing this feedback? Is it coming from a real place, a constructive place, or is it coming from something else? Are we not satisfied? Are we not plugged into our mission? Are we not inspired? If that's the case, let's go to the root of the problem. Connect to what we're passionate about. And perhaps this fire from our Parsha can hint to this remedy. The fire can hint to how we can heal by finding what we're fiery about, what we're passionate about. When we tap into that, we can avoid unnecessary complaining, unnecessary spreading of negativity.